Hey friends, you're with me and Radha from learningmilestone.com and here we are going to create a simple BMI calculator based on Python. And what is BMI calculator for that matter? It is an indicator which tells adult that whether you're an underweight, normal weight, overweight, obese and that is based on certain figure, certain value and which is calculated on the basis of a formula based on user's weight and height and here's a formula when we use weight in kilogram and height in meter there can be definitely slight variations when we use different units for weight or height so let's see how the program should finally work when it is completed so here I am in REPL editor where we'll be finally creating our code. You can create your code anywhere in on any Python editor. Let's run this program. So when I run this program, we ask from the user weight in kilogram. Let's say I enter 72.5 and let's say enter your height 1.62 in meter. Oh my God, it tells me your BMI is 27.6. You are overweight and it also tells me the target weight I should reach to be healthy 65.3 so let's say I did dieting and then I ran this program again and I entered 65 okay and uh, my height these days is constant 1.62 so your BMI is 24.8 so once I reach the weight of 65 I should be healthy okay so I have a target now so basically what concepts will be using as part of this program are these okay input to take data from the user data type casting because the data taken from the user is of type string i need to convert it into integer or float to be very specific and once i calculate bmi on the said formula i want to reduce the number of decimals okay so i'll be rounding it off using round method and then finally i need to conclude to user whether user is overweight underweight or obese so i'll be using these conditional statements and then to present my message nicely to the user i'll be making use of f string so let's get started and i'll be moving to REPL editor to quote my program so I'm on REPL editor. Let's click on new REPL, select the template Python and let's give it a name BMI calculator. I'll click on create REPL. All right, so we are on BMI calculator REPL and let's start by creating variable weight okay so first we need to ask take input from user so i will use input method for same okay to take input from the user and i'll prompt user to enter weight in kilogram enter your weight in kilogram let's add colon a little bit of space so this message will appear over here and whatever input user enters will get saved in weight variable so right now we are not printing or displaying the value of weight so we are not getting any output as such but the value is getting stored now if i want to do some mathematical operation on weight let's say i want to do print weight in do five okay i want to see five times so weight will i be able to do with this let's see if i enter 100 i do get this but what i was expecting is 500 and this is definitely not 100 times five but if you look at this closely this is 100 repeated five times and um, if you know this is a string operation in Python where if I multiply any string by a number it gets repeated that many times for example let me just comment this so bear with me I will be going through all the concepts before I arrive at the final solution so instead of this if I would have said hello okay and run this I'll get hello hello repeated five times right so we don't want this and we do understand that when user is giving any value on input prompt 
that is a data type string okay want to check how we can check that type by using type variable type method and we pass the variable to this so it will let me know the data type of the variable and whatever value i entered it gives me str data type now what if i want to have mathematical operation on this value i need to convert it into a number now a number can be an integer or it can be a decimal right so to convert it let's say equal to i will make the use of same variable weight and store it apply data type conversion on weight variable and save it again in weight okay and this time let's apply print weight into 5 and i enter this again 100 and i do get the thing which i wanted but what if i enter 100.5 it gives me an error because now this method won't work on this the number with decimal value and if i want to exactly retain the value i need to use float data type conversion float is the data type which supports decimal number and let's run it again 100 and so i get 500.0 okay and if i give 100 Point 0.4 I get whatever is the multiplication and it is in a number perfect so let's so this is done and let's apply the same thing to height right so I'll just copy this paste it again and I'll create a height variable and enter your height in meter so this is how we take input number from user so we have learned this now now let's do one more thing let's calculate bmi right so to calculate bmi we need to apply mathematical operation on these two variables okay so i create a variable bmi equal to and from my earlier knowledge i know that i need to wait upon so i'll make use of circular brackets this is based on board mass this is division operation and divided by height square so first i want uh, this the thing in bracket to take place so i can do height into height perfect but if i really want to apply to the power of okay i can at this by this so if i would have wanted three that means height cube that i would have simply done this so double asterisk helps to do that although height into height will achieve the same result and this will too so let's choose any okay this is more flexible and compact so let's print bmi to know what is exactly users bmi let's run this so i enter 100 i enter 1.78 and then i mm -mm. oh so the problem here is i talked about conversion but i didn't do that now what can i do i can convert it directly over here when i'm taking input from the user I can add circular bracket around this this is weight right so i can add float here itself so that's a shorter way to do data conversion right so float this is actually we were supposed to do when we were talking about take input from the number so let's run this again 100 1.78 perfect but do i really want this long number of decimals no i want some compact form let's say till one decimal please for that same we will be making use of rounding round method okay so to round for round method i'll make use of again bmi variable to save rounded value and uh, what i have to round i will pass inside round method i need to round this bmi value and till what decimal places i want to round this 
So let's say I want to round this to one decimal place. So I'll move this print new BMI over here. Okay. So let's run this. 100, 1.78. You see, this value gets rounded off to 31.6. Perfect. So I don't need this right now. I'll just remove this and let's just keep it for some time. Okay, so we have taken input a number from the user, we have calculated it, we have rounded it. Now what's next? We need to tell user users BMI and um, we also need to tell user if the user is normal, underweight and all, right? So let's see first how we can tell user users BMI, okay? So I want to frame a sentence, your BMI is, and what I can do, I can do plus and uh, now note that this is a number right so if i do plus which is a concatenation operation between two strings the way with which i can do join two strings right so if i run this 1.78 um i get this can only concatenate a string, not float to the str. Now we know that BMI is a float number, right? And this is a string which we are trying to join with the float. So that won't work. We need a string to the string concatenation. And for that, we can again convert back this BMI to string and the um, string method, pass whatever number you want to convert back and then print. Okay. So this should work 100, 1.78, perfect. Now this is one way to display this thing, right? And let's say if I have again to add one exclamation mark, I have to really do one more concatenation, right? So this, when we want to create longer sentences becomes cumbersome. So what? As a replacement for this, we can do, we can make use of F string. Okay, so we will enclose all what we want in one sentence without plus and all. Wherever I need to use variable, I'll enclose in it curly braces and just I'll, my life will go as normal, whatever sentence. The only thing is this whole part is indicating that, that it is in a, a placeholder for a variable value and to actually make it work we need to make use of f string okay so this is f string notation where we this curly brace and bmi is indicating that it holds the value whatever this bmi variable is holding and if i run this 100 1.78 and I do get the same output, but now I have to, I have the flexibility to add anything, whatever I want to add in sentence without being worried about concatenation space and all, right? So, so this is F string, okay? Now, but we also want to tell user whether the user is, um, whether the user is underweight, normal weight, overweight or obese, right? So we have these conditions. When the BMI is less than 18.0, we need to indicate the user is underweight. So let's not use when, let's say if. If the user is user's BMI is less than 18.0, we'll call it underweight. If it is um, less than 18.0 and less, if it is greater than 18.0 and less than 24.9 normal weight and so are these conditions so let's convert back it this into a code and for that we need to make use of conditional statements if l if else so if and then the condition condition is this should be less than 18.0 Zero, right so this is simple mathematical operation and where we are using comparison operator less than right and this thing can either return true or false depending which is a boolean depending on the BMI value so but if evaluates that if this particular condition returns true do this okay 
and whatever we want to do should be indented inside if it should not be at the level of if it should be indented inside if indented with either space or preferably tab okay so what i want to indicate to the user at this point of time this and i'll make use of f string print f and i want to indicate that you are underweight um okay um let's say your bmi is and i'll pass bmi to this and let's see what happens run i'll enter some small weight at this point of time 30 and 1.78 so definitely this condition should meet at this point and we should get inside this if it be minus 9.5 your under video okay so i'll just comment out this i don't need this okay let's just focus on your underweight your bmi is okay similarly we can um okay now similarly what we can do we can add more conditions to this if chain so if this condition doesn't turn out to be true okay let's say bmi is more than um 18.0 100 1.78 okay we'll not get this output right so what we want to do in that case if the user's bmi lies in the normal range i will go to elif so this is chained with if if this is not done then go to this and check this condition and what is our another condition 18 to 24.9 so i'll keep bmi in the middle and i'll I say 18.9 zero and to that i'll add this less than or equal to operator and here again less than or equal to 24.9 so this is great bmi is greater than 18.0 less than 24.90 and everything remains same colon and indentation and this time i need to tell user that okay you are um healthy okay I need to tell user you are healthy now make sure that this and this whole line is aligned okay so done and um, similarly i can use condition for overweight let's paste it control v what is the next condition it is overweight 25.0 to 29.9 all i need to do is add the change the figure over here 25 and 29.9 right so you are overweight in this range okay and what i can do rest of the cases i can move to else part okay so i even don't need to specify the figure so if this is mad fine not mad go to this not mad go to this whatever if none of these condition is meeting go to else part which will also take care of greater than these values and i will say you are um, obese okay and let's run this 100 1.78 even we are obese okay run so let's say 78 1.78 you're healthy your bmi is 24.6 okay now the one part is done right so we have made use of conditional statements over here statements so we are controlling the flow of the program um okay so this is one part now let's add a topping to it we want to tell user that you the health status be in terms of bmi also we can indicate to user um, what ideally weight should be achieved or at least what should be achieved in order to become healthy so let's create a variable ideal weight and we'll cal calculate the ideal weight right so simply going to this formula ideal weight can be calculated with ideal bmi into multiplied by height square right so what is ideal bmi over here let's say 18 so at least user should have this much of weight right i know ideal bmi can range between 18 to 24.9 so we can tell user that at least you should have this much of weight right 
we can tell ideal weight is equal to 18.0 into and let's do height into 2 and again let's take this over here um, and your weight your so let's tell something more to user I you should reach at least okay this ideal weight to become healthy perfect okay let's see run it I'll give very small weight this time let's say I give 30 again and 1.78 is the height and so your your way BMI you should reach at least this to become healthy and um, there is a scope to do rounding off we can do round off over here again in terms of um, getting it to one place so that I user is not confused about that so just round it okay we'll just give a round figure to user we will not even round it to one place we'll just give a round figure okay so it will give a complete number okay without decimal now that's the thing and um, we can implement the same thing over here right so you're healthy we and what we can do over here user since the user weight is okay so normal does not need to have any um, suggestions then overweight ideal weight is equal to this so since the user is overweight I'll make use of 24.9 in this the upper limit yeah, uh, and uh, I can add this sentence over here and similarly the same thing goes to um, else part right I'll just simply paste it and say obese okay let's try and give it a final run all right so let's say my weight is 67 i enter 1.78 pretty well you're healthy your bmi is perfect so let's run it again let's enter um, 786 okay and 1.78 your weight, overweight your bmi is 27.1 you should reach at least 79 to become healthy okay okay and if I run, let's say within range of 78, I enter 1.78, does it you're healthy? Oh, well, let's get obese. Okay, so I enter 109, uh, 1.78, your obese, your BMI, you should perfect. So, so perfectly done BMI calculator on the topic with the topping of telling user what should be the ideal weight to achieve. And I hope this motivates many of us to achieve our ideal weight let's go to our next interesting project